in this example i will show you how to prevent duplicate entries in excel automatically by using vba programming that means if i enter a value in a cell then excel should check if value is duplicate by checking in entire column so let's understand with this example here on this sheet i have some data data is like date city product name customer id mobile number and complaint so in this data i want that customer id should always be unique while entering new data so let's say if i enter new record or i enter data in next available line let's say then product name here as i expect that customer id when i enter should be unique and if i enter any duplicate value or that value is already existing then excel should remove the entire record so we can see that on row number 14 we have customer id as 1013 so if i enter here 1013 then i'll press enter now i'm getting message like duplicate entry let's delete data from entire row once i'll press on this okay button in this message box then entire row number 15 will be deleted because customer id is duplicate so let me click on okay we can see that data from entire row number 15 is deleted now if i enter new data with unique customer id this time i'll enter 1014 and here we can see because data set is very small that customer id 1014 is not available in entire column d i'll press enter then i'm not getting any message and i can continue entering data to complete this entry used simple vba code to complete this task or add this functionality on event programming so let me show you what is the code i'll press alt f11 this is the code which is working for this functionality let me delete this entire code and show you how we can develop this code see that data is on sheet 1 or i would say name of sheet is sheet 1 i'll press alt f11 then on left hand side i'll click on sheet 1 and then from drop down i am selecting worksheet by default worksheet underscore selection change event is coming we have different events here but by default this event is coming and we are going to use this one only so i'll write my code here first of all i'll declare one variable dim a as variant and then check duplicacy only in column 4 so i'll write if active cell dot column equal to 4 and active cell dot offset next line should be blank in column 4 comma 0 dot value equal to blank then then what should happen i'll make use of variable a equal to active cell dot offset minus 1 comma 0 dot value that me this means once i press enter then 
I am on blank cell, but I am checking the previous cell. Now I'll check total filled rows in column four. So I will write last row equal to worksheets. Sheet name is sheet one dot cells rows dot count column is for that I want to be changed dot and excel up dot row then I'll use looping statement for I equal to two two last row minus one because I don't want to include the current row or the data where we have to check new value or the value we need to compare. The next statement here one more if condition I'll use if a equal to worksheets sheet one dot cells i comma four dot value then i want message box msg box duplicate entry let's remove or delete the data or any message whatever we want and then worksheets here I would write sheet one dot rows last row dot delete I need to close this if statement and if then one more closing statement for first if I'll write here so this is the VBA code that will work to check duplicacy as well as removing duplicate record or the new record if it is duplicate to Excel sheet and check if this code is working properly so I'll enter data so I'm just using the existing data or maybe I can change it and then when I come to column 4 which is customer ID and if I enter 1014 press enter then it is saying duplicate entry let's delete this data and we can see that data is removed from row number 16 now if I enter any new record and uh, customer ID if I enter which is unique or not duplicate press enter then I am not getting any message that means this code is working and we can use it for different kinds of requirement let me show you the VBA code again so that you can pause here you can make note of this VBA code and use it for different projects or requirements hope this is useful for learning advanced VBA programming we can use this example with some modifications for different VBA automations if you have any questions related to this topic write into comments thanks for watching subscribe to my channel for more VBA tutorials thank you